Good evening, just waiting for other people to join us and for my other computer to be picked up. I might have to leave from that one and try again, I think. Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Evening. Oh dear. Let's see whether this one works. Okay. I'm in. We can get started. Okay, guys, fit together. Oh, hang on. Just got to change my view. That's the way around it should be. Should it? Jog it. Take what? Raise your right hand. And recite the tenets. She job, courtesy, integrity, perseverance, self control, indomitable spirit, and the student know. This all, I shall observe the tenets of Taekwondo law. I shall respect the instructor and seniors. I shall never misuse Taekwondo law. I shall be a champion of freedom and justice. I shall build a more peaceful world. Moral. Well, we were supposed to be outside today, but the weather is not making that possible. Hopefully, the weather will be nice and clear for our. Our final class is the year on Thursday. Uh, tomorrow's class will be via Zoom, uh, and then we'll just have to watch the weather for Thursday. So uh, in any case, we're here tonight, so let's get stuck in. Uh, rotating wrists. Change direction. Elbows. Just while we're warming up, a couple of reminders. Remember that you don't wear a watch or other jewelry for training, so make sure you take it off. If you're wearing a t-shirt under your uniform, it should be white. Change direction, not funny colors with writing on it. And make sure, of course, that you go to the bathroom before class. And arms back. Forwards. So also Left ankle. Change direction. Change foot.
change direction. Hands on knees, go down and back and down, back, down, back. Stepping your legs outwards, hands up, guard your brain. Cole, I'll take a look at you and see how you're going tonight. You were unable to come yesterday. Inwards. And hips. Cole, if you just angle your camera a little bit so I can see less of your ceiling and more of you, that would be good. That's better. Change direction. Okay, just jogging lightly on the spot. And punching in time with your hand and your feet. Extend your arms out, Julian. Punch up from the ceiling. Punch you sideways. And up to the front. And might be bouncing. Just raise out one hand and gently lift your foot up and touch your hand. And the other side. Okay, now this time, opposite hand, opposite foot. Try and bring your leg across your body. And change hands. Now from here, hands up and then just big circle with your leg. Alternating legs outwards. Keep your legs straight, keep your hands up. Now go inwards. Fire call.
Dan shot. Okay. Push your right knee back and forearm guarding ball. To be. It's your L stance. Now from here, I want you all to show me a side front snap kick. Let's see how much you remember. Side front snap kick. Ha! Good, just nice and straight, Cole. It's just like a front snap kick, except my body's half facing. Good, Levi and Julian. Two. Set. After you kick, bring your hands back, stay on one leg, reach back, and land and block together. Net. Dasa. Yasa. Now using the rear leg front snap kick. Hana. Duel. Set. Net, watch your foot angle. Daso. Yaso. And change feet. Feet. Now your side front snap kick. Front knee. Ha. Two. Set. Net. Daso. During your L stance towards me, Cole, your kick should be towards me. Yasso. Ugo. Then now you really. Hana. Do. So your front snap kick now with the back leg. Set. Net. Dasso. Yasso. Elgo. Yaro. Sit forward, bottle. Welcome. Welcome. Hello, oh, sorry. Well, you're grading at six. That's awesome. Okay, now from here, guys, let's see your turning kicks. Right leg back, forward guarding block to be. Remember, you've got to go up. First thing, most importantly, pivot that supporting foot. Okay, pivot that supporting foot. From here, lift up. We'll pivot and turn. And do a turning kick. Come on, Julian, you can ask questions later. Ready. Ha! Watch the foot angle. Remember your foot needs to be slightly downward at the moment of impact. Pulling your foot back so that you can kick with the ball of your foot. Okay, tool. Let that supporting foot pivot. If you don't pivot that supporting foot, you don't get any power from your hips. Set. Supporting foot has to point sideways at the moment of my kick, not point forwards. Net. Yeah, you can almost still change it a little bit. Tasso. Yeah, Yasso. So my supporting foot's turned sideways when I kick. Elgo. Yaro. Keep your guard up, Franz. Aho. Yo. And change legs. Okay, other leg. Dolo time. Hana. Two. Pivot that supporting foot, Cole. You got to do a turning kick. You're doing a flicky little front kick. That supporting foot has to turn. Lift your knee. Pivot out and back. Yasso. Come on, goal kick. Ilgo. 
Diablo. Ajo. Yo. Step forward, bottle. Grab a little mouthful of water. Okay. Everybody ready for four direction punch? Let's see how you're going on your patterns. Four direction punch. Beat. Think about nice, long, strong stances. Come on, Julian, get ready. Should be a parallel stance, Cole. Parallel ready stance for the four direction punch. Right side. She jump. Long, strong stances. Turning the wrong way there, Cole. Start again. Remember the short pivot. Go, Cole. Now nah, turn the other way. There we go. Longer stances, guys. Muddle. Left side, ready. Miss Hawk. Come on, Cole, left side. Other way, there we go. Longer stances, Levi. Muddle. And four direction block. First up, everyone face forward, parallel ready stance. Junbi. Take this time to focus, to think about what you're about to do. Stop fidgeting, stand still in your parallel ready stance. France, stand still, stop fidgeting. Four direction block, right side. Jump. Bottle. Everyone make those stances, those walking stances a little bit longer. Left side. The top. Make sure you're crossing, Carl. Bottle. Okay, Chonji to Chonji. Big, strong stances. If I were there, I should not be able to push you over with a finger. And some of your stances are a little bit little and weak. And I could just push you over with one little bitty finger. So I want to see big, strong, stable stances. Chonji. Jibi. Shi. Jok. Wrong foot, Cole. You took too many steps. Okay. Hold your position when you finish. Model. Cole, you look like you haven't been practicing. Okay, yellow belts done good. Bottle call. Hold your position. Don't fidget. Okay, call one more chance to do Chonji. Yellow stripes, Chonji. Yellow belts done good. Jibi. Focus. Nice and strong. She jump.
Make sure you're punching to the center. That's where the opponent is. Make sure you're actually blocking, Cole. Don't just stick your hand up. Cross and block. Hold your last position, Cole. Don't fidget. Come on, bottle. Okay. Everyone demonstrate for me three step sparring. Sambo Matsogi. She jump. Punch the center, Cole. That's where the opponent is. Not way out sideways. Good, Levi, just watch the crossing. Make sure you're crossing underneath. Oh, that's too many steps. Levi, that was four. Okay. Franz, punch to the center line, not out by the side. Okay, come on, come on. Everyone watch this way for a moment. Just be careful because I see many of you punching like this. Why are you punching over here? It makes no sense. Your opponent's in front of you. From here when I punch, I punch center in the center line of my body. Center line, not over here. Okay, not, not sideways here. France, cold, focus from here. Punch to the center. Punch to the center. Okay, continue. Three sets sparring. Guess what? Good, Levi. Center line, Cole. Center. Same line as your nose. That's where your center is. Just watch your crossing, Levi. Right to the center. That's it. Keep going, Julian. Good, and goma. Okay, and grab a drink of water, off you go. Okay. Oh. There we go. Let's get on to some noodle stuff. Hands up. Your hands on up. Imagine that's bopping you on the head. Okay, one foot forward, one foot back. Remember when we're bouncing nice and lightly, we want to be a little bit sideways, okay? Not forwards to our partner like this, because then we've got a big target that our partner can kick. So we want to be a little bit sideways this way, nice and light. If the noodle comes for your head, just do a little duck. I'm going to work on some jumping as well. If the noodle comes up for your feet, jump up and lift your knees up so you can go over the noodle, okay? It's good. If I come down right down the middle here, then go sideways, and come back and if i switch stance then i want you to switch stance too julian just ah uh, sorry cole 
Just change your camera angle again. I've got a lot of your ceiling again and not much of you. Bit more, bit more of you. Yeah, brilliant, thank you. Okay, get ready. Bouncing nice and lightly, switch. When you switch, you don't have to jump very high, just change your feet, switch. Lift your knees up when you jump. Switch when I switch. Keep those hands up. Okay, if I go forward, you go backwards. If I go backwards, you go forward. Okay, if I go sideways, go sideways with me, okay? Copy the same direction as me. Okay, cool. If the noodle comes straight for you, I wanna see your split and block and punch, okay? So split step, punch, split step, punch. So noodle comes for you. Okay, head, there you go, split step, punch. Good, remember when you split step, turn to a walk, bad walking stance, hips facing this way, and then step up. And follow me sideways, switch. Good. Okay, nice. Now, if I open my hands up, I want to see your front leg yop charging super fast. If my elbows open up, my body's available, smash in with that yop charging really quickly. If my hands drop down, I want to see two punches. Ready, shift in two punches and back to your spot. Okay, ready. Faster with those punches. Yes, Julian. Good, fast job, Chaggy there. Good, Julian. Try not to lean forward when you duck, Cole, because they get you a kick in the face. Bend your knees and squat down. That's better. Don't be front on, remember. Be side on, or this will kick you in the tummy. Side on, Cole. That's better.
extend that side kick, Julian. Remember that side kick. You only want to be just above the belt, so not so high. Just above the belt. And come on. Okay, good work. Grab yourself a drink. Okay. Now get yourself a chair or similar obstacle. Nice call, that'll be good. Good stuff. Come on, Franz, go in your own chair. Okay, now from here, one foot forward, one foot back. I want to see your footwork moving around the chair. Don't worry about any punches or kicks yet. Just forward, backward, shift, split step. Forward, backward, switch. Keep side on to your chair. Don't let yourself be full on. Don't let you be, be facing your chair this way. Always sideways. So show me that footwork. Moving around your chair, switching your stance, always maintaining the side of your body to your chair, not the front of your body. Forward and backward, switch, sideways steps, split steps. Always side on. Keep your heels off the floor, be nice and light, bending your knees. Vary your distance. Make sure you maintain side on, side on. Keep your guard up, guard up. Switching stance. Watch your body facing cold. Don't be facing your chair like this. That's a kick in the tummy. Make sure you're always side on to your chair. Okay, now you can start adding your punches. So you might be going punch, punch, and back. Shift and punch. You might get some distance and then do your blitz punch. Punch, punch. Switch, punch. Side step, punch. So moving around, add your punches. Just like we've been practicing. Keep your guard up, Franz. Stop it. Sorry, Levi. What about kicks? Not yet, not yet, just your punches. Footwork and punches so far. Remember, split reverse punch, sidestep reverse punch, forward and jab, punch, punch, backward and jab. That chair is your distance. Moving around using your footwork and your punches. Make sure you stay side on unless you're doing a reverse punch. And then come straight back to side on again. Step, punch, side on. Okay, try and keep side on, except when you're doing that backhand punch, that reverse punch. Switch stances a bit, change your angles. Watch your distance. So vary your distance. Sometimes punch in from a far away. Sometimes you might be close. And then escape out again. Okay, come on. Now this time, only kicks. You're only using your kicks to your target. So this is the distance of your target. No punches at all this time. Only things like your fadeaway side kick. You've got your side kick, back kick. You've got your reverse hooking kick. Really turning kick. All of these kicks for the correct distance using your footwork to move around your chair. Go. It's not for sitting on cold. Come on, get moving. 
Show me your body facing. Lift your knee and extend your kicks. Don't kick your chair, just your focal point. Keep your guard up the whole time. Don't drop that back hand. Julian, keep that back hand by your brain. Don't let it fall. Still using your split steps. Switch. Front leg kick, shifting in, moving backwards, playing with your footwork. Back hand by your brain, Julian. Don't drop your hands when you kick, Franz. Keep your hand by your brain, even when you're kicking. Stays up. Don't make me ask your mum or dad to get sellotape to sellotape your hands to your head. Stance is Cole. Don't let your feet get too close together, Cole. This is not a good sparring stance. Keep that space between your feet so you've got more mobility. And come on. Okay, now we put all of it together. I want to see your hand techniques, your punches. I want to see your foot techniques, all your kicks and your kicking combinations. And most importantly, I want to see good footwork and body facing to your chair. Okay, footwork and body facing to your chair. Go. Punches, kicks, footwork. Let's see it. Link things together. I might go fade away side kick, then come in with my punches, then split step reverse hooking kick. And then punches, switch, sideways step, reverse punch, your chain. Put them together. Side kick, back kick, turning kick. All those other things we've been linking. Keep your hands up, Julian. Don't drop them when you kick. Franz, don't drop your hands when you kick. Keep them up. Hands up, whole time. Come on, just watch this way for a moment. Most of you are making the same common mistake. When you're kicking, you're dropping your hands down and then bringing them up again. That's no good. This makes me vulnerable to getting hit. Keep your hands up. When you kick, my hands stay up. Doesn't matter what you're doing, your hands stay up. Straight back up again. Particularly this backhand. That backhand is by my brain, protecting the whole time. This front hand I can use to create some space, but my back hand's always up. Even when I kick, very, be very careful with your turning kicks and things. With your rear leg kicks, make sure you're changing hands, not doing this, where my hands are going down. Keep my hands up when I kick. Straight back up, go. Show me the footwork, show me the hands up. They're the two most important things. Then think about your punches and your kicks. Hands up and footwork. That's most important. Then your punches and your kicks. Extend your kicks. When you kick, straighten your leg out. Oh, Franz, that hand, those hands are down by your belt again. That's two punches in the face for you, young man. Get them up. Hold a bit higher with that back hand up by your brain. Use that footwork. Keep your hands up when you punch. Straighten those legs out when you kick. Oh, front your hands drop down again. Punch in the face. Oh, Julian, the hands dropping. Punch in the face. Oh, Levi, your hands have dropped. Oh, punch in the face for you too. Ha oh, ha ha So much joy. Oh, Cole, your hands are dropping. Punch in the face. And come on. Come on. Okay, grab yourselves a drink of water and put your chairs away.
Okay, now. So when you're free sparring, guys, and you're working on sparring, the most important thing is footwork. If you have good footwork, you can quickly move out of the way of attack and protect yourself. That is super, super important. If you're not there, it's hard for someone to hit you. So footwork is number one. Guard is number two. Get your hands up. Because sometimes you don't see things coming. And if you've got a good tight guard, it's really hard for them to find a gap to hit you. You particularly want to protect your head, get your elbows in. Footwork number one, guard number two. And then all the other stuff falls into place after that. Okay? So we've got to work on those key things. Now, I want everybody to go and get your prearranged partner for releasing techniques. If you haven't got a partner, that's okay. You can do it by yourself. But if you have got, if you have got somebody that can grab you, go and grab someone who can grab you. And bring them back. Good, okay. And face your partner. If you've got a partner, bow to your partner. And then your partner can grab you. Grab your arms and your wrists and see you get out of it. Okay, Levi, for that one, remember, go lift your hand up and grab, grab over the top of mum's arm. That's it. Now lever it out towards the telly. There we go. Towards the television. That's away from the television. You want to go towards the TV. Go this way, just like you do with the same side grab. Set on top and drop straight down on mum's thumb. Good boy. Okay, Cole, I want to see you how, how you use your body. When you release, it's not just about using your hands like this. It's all about using your body. So if you drop your body down into the movement, get your whole body involved. When you release, keep your hands close to you. Hands stay close. Not, not out this way. You've got no strength out here. You have to get your hands in towards you. So that's why the same side grab, we grab our own hand and pull this way because we're keeping our hands close to our body. Get all the core. Oh, nice. Thanks, Stella. Grab them nice and firmly. Stella, don't let him go. Where's the thumb, Levi? And come on, watch us wait for a moment. One thing to keep your eye out for, sometimes if your partner grabs you like this, their thumb is actually in the same position if they were, as if they were grabbing you with your hand up here. Okay, it's this way. It's this way. Instead of being this way, the grab can be this way, even with your hand down. Particularly if someone goes down this way and grabs your wrist. What I want you to do there is just relax and lift your hand and see where the thumb is and then release from the thumb and you'll find it'll be this release instead of this release. This release will go for the fingers. Go. Where's the thumb? That's it. Thinking about where the thumb is. Where did Stella go? Come back and grab your brother, Stella. Yeah, make it hard for him. So now try some different grabs, guys. Stella and Cole, try some slightly different, different grabs. Can you get out of that two-hand grab if, if mum grabs you with two hands? To, uh, Levi, if mum grabs you with two hands, can you get out of that? Um, only when it's like... Okay, let's work on it. There's two hands. Okay, let's I, work on it. Not. So if mum grabs your, your one hand with two hands, let's try that. Okay, so the key thing here, Levi, we have to use our body. We can't just get out with our hands. 
Now you're not going to go backwards with this. You're actually going to go forwards. So reach between mum's hands and grab your own. Then from here, put your elbow tight. No, uh, sorry, over the top, like you did the first time. Over the top. That's it. Yep. Lovely. Now put your elbow against your body. Move forward so your elbow is nice and tight. Against, no, come forward. Come forward. That's it. Now when you grab your own hand, I want you to use your body to push forward and then go up like you're trying to touch mum on the head. Forward and up. Keep that elbow against your body. That's it. Because then the person grabbing you ends up uncomfortable like this position. Okay? If you're pulling them backwards, it's quite easy to hang on. You've got to go forwards and up. For, and you have to use your whole body. So elbow into your body and go forwards with your body and go up. Use your body for it. Okay. If you haven't already, try some of the grabs further up the arm. The grab might not be the wrist. The grab might be on your elbow. It might be on your biceps. It might be one hand on the wrist, one hand on the biceps. Try some variations. Think about how they compare to the standard wrist grabs and do the same release. That's it. Good, Levi. Where's the thumb, Levi? Where's the thumb? Here we go. And come on, watch this way for a moment. So the trick with all of the arm and wrist grabs is where is the thumb of the hand that's grabbing you? And then twisting out of the thumb while keeping your arms close to your body, okay? I don't wanna try and be doing this sort of stuff because then I'm only, I've only got the strength of my arm. I wanna use the strength of my whole body. So if the thumb's here, I might need to come in and lever out this way. Or I might need to reach over, twist the hand a little bit and lever this way. So my hands can be close to my body and I can use my whole body to release and use my stances rather than just using my arms. Okay, one more minute, there you go. Whole body release towards your middle, not away from your middle. Where are the thumbs? Good. Also remember your defense. Where's the thumb, Levi? Think about the thumb. Good, Colin Stella. Okay, as you get better, Franz, your dad's going to grab you a little bit tighter. Make it harder for you to get out. <laughs> oh, where's the thumb, Franz? Where's the front thumb? It's got to be about technique. There we go. Technique and body weight. And then remember, get your hands up. After you release, step back and get your hands up. And come on. Okay, face your partner. Do it. Come here. And grab a drink of water. Thank you, family members, for helping. Hi, okay. okay, guys, sitting down with your legs out in front. One leg over the top and twist towards the bent leg. Now, I'm very much hoping that we get clearer weather for our last class on Thursday because it would be very stink to have our final class of the year on Zoom. That's when I plan to give grading results because we haven't been able to grade in the park. So. We'll do it on Thursday. Um, excuse me, sir. Um, are you going to be asking Cole on his theory or is it like not the grading today? That's a good question. Yes, I am going to ask Cole his theory. Thank you for reminding me, Stella. Cole could tell me his theory while he is stretching. So, Cole, how much do you know about the meaning of Chonji? Even I know. Do you know anything else about it yet? Change leg? Um, no, not really. Not really anything else? Okay, that's a start. Heaven and earth. 
Uh, let's see, Levi, can you add some more information to that for Cole? Chanji means the heaven, the earth. What else do we know? The beginning of the earth and the beginning of the world. That's right. It means like the beginning of the world or the creation of humankind. That's absolutely right. And that's why it's the first pattern we learned because it represents the beginning. Good. Okay, Cole, count to 10 in Korean for me. One more. I hope you Yo. Good. Awesome. Okay. Uh, now I'm going to ask you a challenging question. What are you doing at home to help your parents? Both uh, mowing the lawns. Mowing the lawns? Yeah. How frequently do you mow the lawns? Every two weeks. Every two weeks. Cool. That's a pretty good thing to be able to do to help. What else are you doing to help? Um, doing the dishwashers and feeding my dog. Oh, that's pretty awesome. Good stuff, Cole. How many more days of school have you got? Um, the last day was yesterday. Your last day was yesterday? Yeah. Oh, well, that's just rubbish. Oh, Levi, <laughs> when's your last day of school? Thursday. Thursday. Yeah, that's more like it. How about you, Julian? Sorry, sorry, Levi? Thursday is a half day. A half day on Thursday. Oh, oh, wow. Hardships. How about you, Julian? When do you finish school? Yeah, Julian, you. When do you finish school? Today. Today? Yeah. Oh, it's that's rubbish. What are you going to do for the rest of the week when you got no school? <laughs> France, how about you? When do you finish school? Heels in. Yeah, um, yesterday was also the last day of school. Oh, that's rubbish. Wow, <laughs> Levi's the lucky one. At least he's got a couple more days of school. Oh, you poor people being off school already. When does dad get off work? When uh, work? He's already off work, I think. <laughs> Today, yeah. What? He's oh no! So, uh, yeah, now for for just just now, yeah. No holidays so. for Christmas holidays. Yeah. Ah, oh, not not yet. Tomorrow I'm going. No. Oh. Oh <laughs> wow. Yeah. You wait, young folk, till you grow up and become contributing members of society. Then you can work all the way up to Christmas Eve like normal people. Hey, <laughs> baby. Can you put on my legs, please? Okay, lying down on your back. No, 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 no. Feet in the air. And legs apart. So I'm wondering what we might do on Thursday, depending on what the weather's like. So tomorrow night we'll do the class by Zoom again because the weather's looking pretty rubbish. Thursday we might have to be a little bit creative. Come on, Julian, stretch. So we'll give grading results on Thursday. So Franz and Mr. B, I'm sure you're all ready for your six o'clock grading. Awesome. Good stuff. And close your legs up. Sitting up. Now, sit with your knees bent like this. Put one leg on top of the other one. And then reach through and grab the leg that's on the ground. Try and pull that bent leg towards your chest. Like this. Now stretch the muscles in our bottom. Our glutes. Uh, Julian, time for tick one on Thursday, five o'clock for you.
We've got a five o'clock class for young guys and a six o'clock class for the senior guys. I know Levi. Oh dear. Sorry, we'll miss you. Your mum sent me an email and told me you couldn't make it on Thursday. Oh. And change legs. Standing up, left leg behind. This is easy. And change. Now, Levi and anyone else who can't come tomorrow and Thursday, have a wonderful Christmas. Be careful, look after yourselves and help mum and dad as much as you can. The more you help mum and dad, the more time they've got to spend with you and have fun. Be good. Practice a bit. And I'll look forward to seeing you back in Tekwondo when we resume classes on the 11th of January. Okay, we'll be out on the green on the 11th of January, and then we'll go back into the venues, I believe, just after Waitangi Day when school goes back. Okay, so we'll do a few weeks out on the grass again. While the weather's really nice, we'll make the most of it. And then we'll go back right. into the schools when school begins. Okay, and give you a little shake. Tidy up your uniform. Thanks, guys. I look forward to seeing you very soon. Merry Christmas and have a safe and happy new year. Turn up. Come here. Take a while. Take a while. What's up? Thanks, Bye, Sarah. Bye, Sarah. Bye, Sarah. Bye, Bye. Bye, Bye Franz. Well, I'll Bye. see you without five minutes.